Anthony Rizzo stands in now. And guys, seventh inning Maybe already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but First this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll Anthony agree with that, Matt. That's Rizzo. what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. And this pitch hits him, but it does so after he swings through it. A bizarre sequence there. It's nothing in two. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up. And now a slider in on the hands, and he's lucky that one didn't come and get him. Well, this team, they're swinging at everything, but that pitch was just a little too far out of the strike zone. And that's going to be a base hit for Rizzo. With that, the Cubs get their leadoff man aboard. That's a big leadoff hit late in the game right there. Now you're down one to get the leadoff uh -huh. guy on. Now he can do a lot of things. Will he steal? Will they run him over? Will he score on a gaffer? Maybe score on a home run? I don't know. It'll be interesting to see how they get him home. Here's the first pitch to him. Kyle Schwarber is in for the third time as he swings and misses at that one. It's nothing in one. Well, Matt, they've been real aggressive, taking swings early in the count, but you're losing in this game, so you got to make an adjustment. You got to start taking pitches and maybe working the pitch a little bit more. If it's not working, being aggressive. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. I'll tell you, we're in the later stages of this ball game, but his fastball is still coming out of his hand with plenty on it. Has to fight to stay alive as this is fouled off to the right. Here comes the nothing in two pitch. Swing and a ball hit in the air to right field and deep back is the right fielder, but he will look up and watch this one sail out of here. A two run blast to straight away right field. Home run number 15 for him thus far, and the Cubs move out ahead two to one. You can call it unfair or just the breaks of the game, but up until this pitch, which was a big mistake, he was throwing a gem. Now he looks up at the scoreboard and he's trailing. That's demoralizing, but he's got to forget about it quickly. And it looks like the Yankees will have a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. Standing in now, Addison Russell. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. The wind up and the 0 1. And he chased up and out of the zone, a swing and a miss. Now here's the pitch. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Here's the, the young catcher, catcher Wilson Contreras. Wilson's One for two with a double on the ledger so far. Into the windup and the pitch. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Hicks is under it. And he makes the catch for the second out. The batter, number nine. Here's Javier Baez. It's been an 0 Javier for 2 effort for him Baez. to this point. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Grounded to short. And a low throw to first, but Votto's able to come up with it. A fine play there to end the inning. Two for the Cubs in the inning on the strength of this two-run home run. Get up and stretch. It's now 2-1 to Chicago.